Hey everybody, John if you got here. Greetings from Gore, Virginia. Once again, JBG Travels is proudly present to you. The climb of the uh, Virginia Hills. Alright, local time is 12.07. Today, once again, it is January 20th, 2016. 17. I gotta get rid of that out of my system. Once again, Wardensville is 20 miles away from here. give you guys a different look give you guys a hat cam for those of you who have been asking and requesting the hat cam for a while now been wanting to know where to get this. Where do I buy a chemical cam compound? I think it's acrylic or something. It looks really clear like glass that you put you put in mold. Sometimes they're paperweight, sometimes they have an art design inside. Uh, sometimes they're just a, I don't know, they come in all shapes and size. They're acrylic, right? Uh, it's something probably two chemicals, two compound that you mix together and once it hardens, it becomes the shape. I don't know why, but I have this irresistible urge to fill that with my coins. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Fill that up with coins and then once it's filled with the coins, fill it with the acrylic. I uh, don't know if that's the name, acrylic, but since that's the only name that I know of, yeah, fill it with the acrylic let it harden and then break it open and you have yourself a very clear acrylic shape of a stow a stormtrooper and full of coins inside I bet you that's gonna weigh at least what 10 pounds or more. Oh, well, here's a better idea. Fill it with acrylic. Let it harden for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. And give it to AJ or Jackie. <laughs> I wonder there'd be but what do you think that is worth how much do you think you could fill that with coins I mean granted if you just put quarters in there it'll be a lot but in random everyday coins pennies quarters dimes nickels whatever you fill that up with coins how much do you think you could put in there 50 bucks maybe And then, as I said, fill it with acrylic and give it to the girls 
and see if they will leave it as is or they'll eventually dig it out and get the money out of it. <laughs> I could just imagine somebody taking a Dremel tool and just start carving it, getting the coins out. Who knows, you could probably sell it as an art. Why are you laughing when I mention it's an art? Somebody posted, or somebody has a, a pile of laundry. I think it's somewhere in New York or Washington, D.C., somewhere. A big pile of laundry. I think it's like three tons of laundry. And they consider it as an art. And in fact, I think it even won an award for, you know, the art of the year. <laughs> I don't see it, but hey, interesting times we live in, man. hours available today 13 hours on my 70 yeah we're kind of running on recaps right now Just imagine flying a drone between here all the way to the other side of that ridge up there. That'd be so cool. By the way, did you guys hear? Remember about a year ago or so, there was a drone that came out and it was named uh, Lily? And it was the very first one, I think, to come out that it follows you and all that stuff. Yeah, they call it quits. The bad thing is, they've already taken orders. I think they got like $35 million worth of orders. And somehow they couldn't deliver. And the worst part is, they've already deducted, you know, the $500 out of people's credit cards. Ooh, where are, the, where are they gonna find all that money? I hope they haven't spent it. I almost wanted to get one. Well, I wanted to get one. I just couldn't get one. And as 
far as the GoPro uh, drone, that's a bust, I think. Man, I would love to be able to get my hands on that uh, DJI uh, Inspire. Wow, that would be so cool. All the way up to Canada. I haven't heard from you for a while though, Andrew. Andrew Haverson is the one that donated this Grand McNally 730. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. at a uh, super single it was one of those really wide tires for uh, trucks and trailers I would imagine it you know it would take quite a work and some money to make it work but it would look so cool if you put that on one of those dualies like a Dodge Ram dually you put two of those super singles instead of having you know four tires just like these trailers and truck you put one of those really wide I bet you that would look so cool and I think it would come out lighter than uh, you know the traditional twin tires Make a motorcycle and use that was as your uh, rear tires. <laughs> yeah. You'll never have to sit foot the uh, you know set your foot on the ground. It'll just stand by itself.
it just occurred to me. Now that we're not exactly headed home tomorrow, for how many times I have been up here at Moorfield, wanting to head straight home, and yet the loads They either they're not ready or it takes them a long time to load it. Now, it just occurred to me that since I'm not headed home uh, until Sunday, I got a feeling where I'm gonna get loaded early today. Right? I mean, that's just, that's the way it works, isn't it?
mirrors. Welcome to Wardensville, West Virginia. Hey Terry, your pickup's still here. Handle 
turned out very, very well, people.